Good day everyone, I'm Jimmy Milan and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about the exciting range of the Melancians Nandinas. The common name for them is also Heavenly Bamboo and as you can see just look at this amazing foliage that they have and this really nice stem. So you can see it's Heavenly Bamboo just as the name is saying. So we have a few different selections. First of all I'm going to start with you about the old common variety and that is the normal big Nandina, Nandina domestica. That's just a normal green leafed one and it's growing tall but it's never coloring. Then we have the exciting Nandina dragon flame. Here you can see exactly the same height of plant but just see this amazing reddish color that it has and this color is starting from a little bit in March onwards. In winter the whole plant is completely red or purplish and then as the time goes all the new growth will always be a little bit red. So that is Nandina Dragon Flame and we sell it in a 19 centimeter pot, we sell it in a 20 liter bag and a 20 liter bag is there for you to put on your perimeter because you've just bought time. It's a plant that is finished inside there just pop it in and you have some privacy. Then we go over to the exciting ones. We have Nandina Obsession. Nandina Obsession is quite a new and unique plant to South Africa. It's bred in Ireland but just look at this amazing color. This specific plant is always 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 right through the year it doesn't need cold to be this um, reddish color. So just think about in your garden how few plants there is with a complete reddish color for the whole year. Then we have the sister and that is Nandina Blush Pink. So Nandina Blush Pink, just look how fresh and crispy this plant is. It is really so amazing. Just look at this amazing um, foliage and then on top is this reddish foliage. So the same as Nandina Obsessed. Nandina Obsessed just have the very much smaller leaf. This um, Blush Pink has a much more bigger leaf but it is always, always, always pink on top. This photo was taken in springtime and you can see it is really always um, blushing out just like the name is saying so it will always be pink with the greenish foliage on the bottom. So the normal Nandina is just green always and then in winter time when you really get a lot of cold it's going red but the rest of the year it's going back to green where blush pink is not doing that it's always giving you that blush of pink in your garden. Then we have also a very nice one is Nandina Gulfstream. Just look how cute and petite this little plant is. It is really so amazing. Also very small type of foliage and amazing. Really in small borders, in small gardens, it's really a nice combo. So make sure all of you know the difference between the Nandinas. And yes, all of you may ask, well, if I have one Nandina, is there just room for more Nandinas? Well, just look at this combo here. And you can answer it to yourself. This is a must have in every garden because it's giving you so much a total different look and feel and everything these days is about texture. It's not just about flowers, it's about texture bringing into your garden but also bringing that chameleon sense in that is really start of amazing just popping points in your garden. So everyone enjoy it. Nandina is there for everyone to enjoy. It's great as a house plant, it can be outdoors and it can go all over. So go and get yourself the Nandina, any selection from Malansians.